and there's the uh, there's the cat rock which when you get nearer the the rock looking that way it's the sphinx and uh, from just behind there is where I'm going up to my, my phantom pitch some people on the ridge Well, I've just parked in Seafweight and uh, it's the last day of good weather after all the heat waves. Well, for now anyway. So um, I've got three things planned and only doing one of them. But it was depending on how high the cloud was and how wet it was, etc. Seafweight Farm, you can pay to stay overnight and you pay here it's a little hole I'm either going to go to Great End via Cuss Gully or when I get up there I'll turn right and I'll do uh, the, the Climbers Traverse on Great Gable and a few of the features along there and then scramble up to Westmoreland, uh, Westmoreland Crags. Westmoreland Crags? Yeah. Um, I said three options. The three options, two of them were Great End. One is Camp on the Top. The other one is Drop Down to Lamfoot Dub. So we'll see how we get on. It's, uh, it's a nice day still, but it's forecast to uh, cloud over in the, by the morning and then get pretty rough tomorrow but I'm not really bothered about whether the weather turns tonight I just want it to be clear this evening or clear of the tops this evening Good. made my mind up I feel like I'm almost tempted to go left here and just definitely do um, great end from here now I'll stick to the plan plan A and I'll go up to the town and then decide I'm just worried that the the clouds are going to lower, that's all, and Great End will be alright if I have a low cloud, whereas uh, Great Gable I'd rather be able to see the ridge I'm going to be on. <clears throat> anyway. Very warm, not getting much of a breeze here. It's supposed to be more later, but once we get up to the pass, I think there'll be some fresh air. But you know what's really hit me? The green. After all the scorched grass down south, it's still green here. So we're at Stirhead time. Um, oh, if uh, if Dave from uh, Solo Summiteer on YouTube, if he uh, watches this, I can understand why you like the scuffles so much. <clears throat> because just standing here, thinking of wild camps, there's just so many options, so many little lumps and roots that could be fantastic location back at Great Gable but over there where Lambfoot Dub is and in between Hill Crag and all that lot is, um, there's loads even looks like there's probably some on the side of Great End here uh, I'm really torn now because I did plan to do some good little bits of scramble on the way to the to the wild camp and I've got time still uh, I really would like to do the climbers traverse across 
oh, I don't know. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling the wild camp. I'd like to put more time into a location and then chilling out. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go up to the pass and make my decision left or right. At the moment I fancy going up the shoulder of Great End, keep an eye out for a place or head into the top. But, uh, I'll get up there and if uh, if the napes looks sort of um, near <laughs> I might still go that way but it's gorgeous. In fact I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and have a munch because it's beautiful. Sprinkling tarns up there. Cus Gully is just in there on the face of Great End. You might be able to see some people going along there. That's the corridor route to Scaffold Pike. Um, if I start the corridor route and then kick off up there. That's where Lambfoot Dub is. Uh, there's Broad Crag and Eel Crag where I camped in the winter. There's Lingmall over there. And here we've got Great Gable. Um, I still don't know which one I want to do. I think it's going to be Great Gable. So, so we crack off up here. That way. Some of them, blimey, I haven't been along here for 20 years possibly. So, uh, long time. I've done uh, threading the needle and the sphinx and that maybe twice or three times but it was all when I was a bit younger. So we're heading along under there. Um, got a few more ups and downs before we get to the needle. <laughs> Weather's holding. the needle straight up I'm not going to thread it I'm not going to go behind just because it's spitting and I want to get to my pitch before it gets too wet I'll see what I'll get right over there and then up step down right right down oh. right I've got to get up and across the gallery or the amphitheatre or what it's called somehow like I just come across the front of there and down there We've got to head along the ridges. It's raining, but uh, I think it will be all right.
I'm like not impressed with my uh, scrambling and ability. I'm just about see the needle there. Up behind the Sphinx, and then basically scramble, then just goes straight up. And then I can get my tent side and sit down. Can you believe we're still out? Actually, I think it is the season, isn't it? Look at the face. Look at that. Fantastic. There's the classic Wasdale view. Arrowhead Ridge. Yeah, that's a climb stroke. I think it is a climb, not a scramble. But you can see the arrowhead at the top on this end. And uh, I could go up here and then start the scramble, but I'm just going to see if I can go behind the Sphinx because I, I don't remember doing that when I came in before. I think I did go up here. So I'm going to pop over there and see how easy it is. Anyway, look at that beautiful face. Right, let's get round there. Let's get the scramble doing and let's get some grub on because I'm, I really need to sit down. We're not too far from camp, so let's do it. So the purists doing a grade three probably will go from the Sphinx directly onto the ridge there but that looked way way too difficult to do with this uh, bag etc and all along this traverse there's lots of down climbs and up climbs so if you want to do it make sure you enjoy scrambling take your time dry weather and probably not with a heavy bag because I've had to go quite slow on a lot of it it's not been it's not been terrible it's been all right but just you can't get in the flow like you do with scrambling sometimes it's a a bit more stop and start and take your time <laughs> anyway so I'm just gonna go around the corner here and join the ridge a bit further around uh, quite blocky I've just got to a bit where there's some Grassy ledges. Oh. And uh, I can almost smell my campsite. It's not a mega long scramble compared to some, but there's some good rock there. Bits of grass as well, but um, with the camping bag, it makes it feel more sustained, I can tell you. So I've come up, same as that one over there really, just up a broken um, ridge of mostly rock and a few grass bits. Literally got 15 metres and then I'll be able to see my pitch. Can't wait. Very excited. Woo! And it's half six now, so a few minutes. I don't think I've done bad because I've pushed on 
Uh, there's quite a lot of scrambling along the, the, the traverse. The climber's traverse, you do the first corner where there's a bit of rock. Then you do um, quite a long section, it's just a level path across the scree to the next crags. And then when you're scrambling up towards Nape's Needle, from then on really, you're actually scrambling but horizontal. And then up whatever ridge you do, you can come up the, the gully. Um, the ridge is alright to be fair, it's, uh, it's, it's only probably grade 2. You can pick some, pick some bits that will be grade 3 if you want, but um, it's actually, look, I mean it's just like that. You just pick your way up, lots of steps, good handholds, a few places you can sit and rest if you want. I haven't, which is why I'm sweating like a doodah. <laughs> I've really actually kept moving quite a bit today. I'm really surprised. I'm out of breath a lot, all the time. <laughs> but, um, arms and legs have done alright. Started feeling it on my arms, because uh, there's quite a few long pulls and drops. Uh, so I've used my arms more than I'd like normally scrambling and climbing, you want to try and use your legs the most, but I've used my arms quite a bit, so they're starting to get a little bit tired. But really enjoyable. Oh, I didn't want to, I was going to wuss out on this and just go over to Lamford Dub. No scrambling, just to walk up from the corridor route. But I'm glad I did this because I've not been along here for, like I said, 20 years or something. And, uh, I've got a flipping good bit of exercise. So, oh look, there's Pillar. Pillar was my last film. Ennerdale Highs. Quite an adventure on that one. Yeah. We're here. Top of the morning. Top of the ridge. We're here, just below the crags, Westmoreland crags, on uh, Great Gable. Pillar, sorry, Pillar, Kirkfell, New Barrow and all that lot, I don't know. <sighs> West Water Squeeze, Lingmall. Garfell, Scaffold Pike, Eel Crag, sorry, Broad Crag, Eel Crag, and Great End, Allen Crags. You see over there the Langdale Pikes. Woo! And uh, here's the ridge that came up. Yeah. So come up here. So there you go. Welcome, mon ami, to Camp Great Gable. There she blows. Nice. And uh, it's gone very still. Clouds are higher now. Dinner. Um, no sign of any rain yet. I think it'll be the morning. So that's good. Got a nice evening. Look how still it is. Uh, scaffold Pike's clear. Still some people up there. Got some climbers just down here. I'm thinking, wouldn't it be funny if it was the climbers that I met on Pillar last time and abseiled with? Because they always do something in the afternoon stroke evening, they said. Anyway, so I'm going to, uh, I think there's a possibility I've sorted my drone out. I've had to download something. If in the next couple of seconds you see the drone footage is sorted, if, if I come back doing something else, 
but uh hope you get an appreciation for where i am it's uh it's a little ridge from the top of the um the ridge that joins on to the crags and uh great gables there As you can see, I've got the drone up. First world problems, an update on the phone messed the link up. And I had to sit on the side of a mountain going online, uplo uploading the blinking update. <laughs> anyway, on my own. There were some climbers down on the napes bit, but I don't think they're coming up. I think they've gone down. Uh, it's well late now, I've been fiddling and fighting around, it's nearly 8 o'clock and I've got to eat, so I'm going to eat now, and uh, yeah, it's quite nice, it's, uh, it's cooled down, but it's quite comfortable, let me spin you around again, catch the last of this nice view, because it'll start just getting a bit, a bit more dull, but um, so yeah, I haven't been over this side so much, so on my own, it's been nice to explore and come back. <coughs> so, uh, it's not quite as knife edge as I thought it might be here, but it's not. It's, it's a lovely, very scenic place, being able to just look across to Styed Tarn and Esk Halls. So much, so many features over there, you can stare at it for a long time. Um, yeah yeah i was going to say about once you get used to being out in the hills it is lovely to be able to just adapt and change your mind i mean i had like i said quite a few different options today but um quite glad i did that the scramble up ended up i mean it was tough going with the bag but um pretty good fun Meatballs and pasta, that is a fantastic uh, ball in a bag. That is really nice. I had a um, bolognese last time. Just felt it was just so much gumph, just all pasta. But that meatballs one, ooh, ooh. Yeah.
So as you can see, <coughs> it's a bit blowy this morning. It's a bit but uh, well, the rain's coming and going in the cloud. So I've had a bit of a lie-in. Don't want to wait any longer though because it's supposed to get worse. <coughs> so I'm just getting me coffee, pack me tent. packed up, uh, waterproof's off because the rain only seems to just splash every now and again at the moment and I want to get down without getting too hot. So uh, just in my wrap, wind cheetah type thing. Anyway, there's a bit of brightness, there's a lot of cloud. and distinct mountains in the Lake District. You wouldn't know it. Mind you, I suppose quite a few of them are very distinct, but uh, Great Gable's got a particular shape when you look at it from elsewhere. Very imposing. Yeah, we're looking at the map. I decided to take the path down the shoulder. So I passed the uh, town again, just in case it's picturesque out of the cloud. Uh, anyway, so we'll see if that's what I've done. It's a great path. Shame so many people still go on the sides here and cause the erosion when there's a really good park being built. Uh, you know, I know it's tempting to just walk on easier gravel sometimes, but these paths stop masses of erosion. I'm below the cloud now, and yes, it's wet. I'm going to get down as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. Always happy to see comments. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I'll be in the Alps.